Hey, this is Herb, but before we get into the personal brain demo, I want to give a quick shout out to Mitch Dot for turning me on to Cam Studio, uh, the open source software that I'm using to create this next video, and I think it's going to generate a much higher quality uh, output than my uh, first attempt. So thanks a lot, and hope you enjoy the video. Thanks. Hey, this is Herb. Thanks for checking out this video. Today we're going to talk about some of the new features in Personal Brain version 4.5. Um, this recent update uh, is really jam-packed with lots of goodness. Uh, over 40 new features and options. Um, it's much faster, it's more stable, um, but there's a lot of usability enhancements too. And I want to talk about uh, six of the things that uh, I'm probably enjoying most with the, uh, the new version. Uh, the first one is complete undo and redo support and it's exactly what you think it is um, as you're working in your brain you're often you know creating children adding attachments moving stuff around and every once in a while you something that you didn't intend to do uh, and sometimes it's a little bit difficult to manually undo it um, so now you can just go up to the edit menu and there's an undo command and you'll have a history of recent activities and you can just pick the one that you need to undo in this case, I'm going to undo the create thought, and you'll see we've gotten rid of that one we just added. Um, more powerful instant activate is the next one that we'll talk about. And uh, what this one does is allow you to just type portions of terms in your brain to quickly filter down to the item that you're looking for. So um, in this case, let's pretend we're searching for black book and, uh, you know, save myself a, key, a few keystrokes, if anything. I could just type B L B O and it will quickly go to black book so um, you can imagine there's lots of uh, uses for being able to filter quickly like that and uh, just increasing your uh, speed of use as you're navigating around uh, next one I want to talk about is notes icons uh, this is an optional feature you can turn it on or off uh, depending on what you like uh, I have it on and what it does is just puts a little visual indicator at the end of the entries telling you that there's a note associated with that item so again as you're navigating through your brain um, this is a nice quick way to visually see if there's some additional information that you might want to dig down into um, next one timed events and reminders uh, I'll tell you the first thing that really prompted me to upgrade to version 4 was this calendar feature um, this is really important if you're trying to track everything in the brain you know your tasks your projects all the to-do sorts of things uh, to be able to associate dates with items well it's even more powerful now because you actually have a time as well where you can have that little uh, pop-up notice show up on your personal brain screen and tell you that you need to do something so uh, that's something that I'm using all the time and it's really made personal brain much more powerful for me in my day-to-day -day life next one I'm going to talk about is automatic activation of new thoughts uh, you may have noticed I have that on again it's another optional feature but as you're creating a child uh, as soon as you hit enter it will focus on that child uh, previously you may recall that it would just leave it underneath the uh, parent entry and then you had to click on that uh, typically if you're like me once you create a child uh, you're gonna do something else with it you're gonna add a uh, thought icon you're gonna go to your calendar and put something in you're gonna uh, you know go to the the thought type menu and type that thing to help you find it later so I enjoy having that feature turned on so I can quickly get to those thoughts and uh, do whatever I'm gonna do next and the last thing I want to talk about is context sensitive naming shortcuts first of all I want to kind of back up and maybe retract something I said in my other video about that was a response to Sherman lives mind mapping software for Rolodexing I talked about using the comma trick to prepend the parent to the child it's actually not necessary in this version um, in the past if you had a lot of common terms in your brain it became very confusing unless you also typed in for example the name of the parent that it was associated with so in this example you know all the people in my phone, in my directory here let's say they all have Twitter accounts well if I just went underneath and typed Twitter uh, and searched on Twitter I might see a hundred line items that just say Twitter with no other information not very helpful if you're trying to find a particular one well actually in this version uh, if I type Twitter you'll see there's three of them but it points to the parent as well so you can quickly get to the one that you want what I talked about was using the comma trick to prepend the parent name 
Um, so again, that's not necessary anymore. You can still do that if you want to, but it'll automatically um, point to the parent for you. Um, but ag anyway, let me back up and talk to you about this new uh, feature here, which is, the, again, the context-sensitive naming shortcut. So what this allows you to do is, say you do want to have the uh, parent attached to the child thought. So I'm going to create a child here. If I put a comma in front of it, and then say, uh, I'm going to put prepend as my child, hit enter, it will take the parent name, put that in front of the newly created child. Maybe I want it at the end of that. I'm going to type append and put a comma at the end of that. Hit enter. And now it will to put the child name first and then the parent name after it. So those are some nice features that I think really improve the usability and in your productivity using personal brain. And um, I think those are the ones that I wanted to highlight for today. So I will stop there. Thank you for checking out this video, and I hope you'll stop by to see uh, some.